here we've got the classical rotor pan now a few little mods I've done on it is I've put these little dimples in the bottom you can see them there I also cut this off and just machined that a little bit um, to take a, a bush I'll show you that in a moment these little bits here I've sort of if you can see I've bent them so they sit nice and flush in the bucket and that you have to just press it and you can see that they're nice and flat in there and we just put a hockey strap on there to stop it from spinning around and in there you can see the bush that I've made I've just pressed it in and it goes there's probably about 10 thou or oh, 15 thou clearance on that it just makes it a lot easier on your hands another thing I've done I just tried it on one side I just ground that edge nice and flat there instead of it being rounded it just sort of seems to cut cut all that uh, loose stuff a lot better and finally the biggest oh there's another improvement I've welded a cap on that so whenever you're filling it with with your uh, hay dirt um, it doesn't go down there and block up that bush or wear it out prematurely and I should have I've welded these I don't know they're probably at about 45 degrees I should have uh, put the plastic on both sides so when I rotate it around I can just um, grab the other side these thin ones what I found is on that edge there you end up getting a blister after you do about 10 buckets I'll just show you how it works that goes on there you can see that spins quite nicely on that bush We'll put some crevice material in there. It's always good to put a little bit of water in there. Just so it has that flushing effect. Now I'll just show you how so when you've done it like this, you also limited, I don't know, what's that? From from there to there so you have that much movement there flushing it out wet between my fingers and also it's quite quite harsh on your hands you end up getting a blister the new improved the ergonomic handles that I've made so it goes so where my finger is there to there so there's more rotation there as well and also, if you have a look, you're sort of doing it 90 degrees parallel to your body, so you're not hurting your wrists as much. The only improvement I'm going to add to this now is as well as putting plastic, these little plastic um, conduit pipes there, is on that center bit there, I'm going to make a little point. So when you do pour your... Um, your, your dirt on there or your sand it doesn't get trapped on there it'll actually just run along and I also thought about making a flat bit there so you can actually crush your rock or clay or whatever on that bit but a point would probably work better anyway so we're just going to So, also, what you can do when you've got these, you can just inspect your rocks, make sure you haven't got any gold nuggets in there. When, you, when you're doing it with this, you can't really do that. With this, you can really do it. And it's not...
There we go. There's a few little included. Thank you for watching.